they have Harry Kane who cannot win, so. Do a little careful here. Oh, that one actually doesn't kill him. I think the most people I've seen go to cinemas was just for uh, Barbenheimer. It was actually ridiculous. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that for movies. Now the time is settled, dude, Oppenheimer, like, uh, Barbie was fun, but Oppenheimer is just like, actually insane, man. Absolutely cleared it. Unsurprisingly. There are full hammer build full hammers in that build and people only build one of them. I mean it's been it's been changing all year though, like uh for most of the year it was Runeforge and then it was Frostman for a little bit, and now it's just Blackthorn. Can't always be the same hammer. Oh I wish he hit me, man. The baby, which is the better movie? Yeah, I, like. Oh, nice kill. Like I enjoyed the Barbie movie, but I mean, as cliche as it is, like R Ryan Gosling actually carried the movie for me. He was so fun in that movie. Who's gonna win the Euros? Don't say England. Uh, uh Portugal. Competing? Oh no, obviously not. Yeah, but just like uh, you know, it's a double feature. Bad take. What well, did Oppen uh, Oppenheimer was better? Oh no, the oh the Portugal are gonna win. Let me have copium, man. Yeah, England might have a like the most stacked team of all time, but uh, they have Harry Kane, who cannot win. So, do a little careful here. Oh, that one actually doesn't kill him. That way he walked back in. It's only three, rookie. Don't let it go to your head. Okay, okay, okay. Netherlands have a good team, too. Netherlands give off kind of like a Croatia vibe where, I mean, defensively they could be so solid that, like, maybe they can surprise a lot of teams. But I don't see it. Van Disney gonna get exposed again. Are the games uh, games gotten better? I think games are fine. Nah, I think it's too late for Croatia. 
surely. I'd be shocked if they go far again. Dude, if Croatia win, like, like it, w it would actually be ridiculous. I mean, if any of the non-top countries win, like, the top countries on paper, like, right now, like, it, w it would actually be crazy. Like, it feels like every Euro team is so stacked. My top team. You wanna root for Italy? I don't know, man. They have Spalletti, but I think the squad isn't great, right? Could be a coach gap. Coaching is pretty important at an uh, international level. I can't believe no one said Georgia, man. As if we're not gonna underdog our way to at least the quarterfinals. Yeah, we're in the Euros, bro. Put some respect on our name. We knocked out Greece in the qualifiers for the final spot. We're in the group with um, with Turkey, Czech Republic, and Portugal. We're sneaking through. You know, not even sneaking. We're we're charging through that group. We're coming a uh, second. Are you British? No, I just live here. Georgia a generational game. That's the that's the, the first uh, game of that group, right? Absolute cinema. I wish Turkey wins it because I can imagine Turkey played with the happens. Dude, Mar Mourinho, like, Mourinho and Turkey is such an insane combo. That's gonna be so much fun, man. The drama every fucking week. Man, I was having so much fun in the other roles. It's crazy. Oh. You guys looking forward to the summer game fest tomorrow? Any predictions? 
Oh, he should be dead, dead. Sekiro 2. Well, that's obviously not gonna happen. Yet. Bloodborne on PC. That will happen one day. Yeah, I mean, we already know the Bloodborne's playable on a uh, on a PC. That's only three rookie. Don't let it go to your head. Yeah, ports do exist. There's some guy on Twitter that keeps like, oh, I haven't seen him in a while. Maybe they got um, the MCA'd. But there was someone on Twitter who would like uh, show off the port and like if it was crashing or working and stuff. Yeah, like, w would would Bloodborne need a, a remaster, you think? Or could they release it as it was, uh, or like, as it is right now, uh, on the older gen? I think it would need a slight remaster, right? Okay. Yeah, it's FPS capped at 30, so... I mean, that's, that's like, pretty... That's pretty, uh, like, outrageous for modern, like, uh, standards, you know? Gotta be 60 at least. I really hope we get some Resident Evil 9 news. Or another Resident Evil remake. I, I don't know which one they would do next. Probably... Zero or, or like uh, I don't know what it was called. Like I don't know if that's gonna. I I don't know if they have plans to remake five, but that that would be the one I want. Remake five with uh with like keep the co-op and stuff. That would be so fun. Are doing a real build? Yeah, actually it's pretty fun. Yeah, Resident Evil games have like quickly become some of my favorite. Like uh, after I got to play like all the remakes and stuff, I'm a big fan. Yeah, I mean, if you take the story seriously, I don't know, I don't know what's up with you. I mean, it's it's just fun. It's just like a fun, goofy, kind of horror, spooky game. Like, I love it. Best ever take, dude. I love Resident Evil games. I think that's, I think that's some of like the most perfect, just like linear single player games. I love them. And like, I also love them because it's, it's so easy to stream as well. Like, every time I've streamed a Resident Evil game, it's just like, I can one-shot it, and people love to watch it as well. It's just fun to stream. Oh, that pluck is so bad for me. Titan full 3, that would be huge. That would actually be huge. Shadow Drinker, that's actually true. Time to ride. Uh, I know Naughty Dog were like talking about this new project that they were working on and how it was gonna like be revolutionary in gaming and shit, but I don't think we'll be getting that this year, like announcement wise. 
from all the Titanfall. F yeah, I I think Titanfall was one of the most fun like FPS games I've played for sure. And yeah, I think it was way better than than uh, Apex. No, it's an SPL command. No. Aware. Thoughts on the patch notes? Question mark. My thoughts on the patch notes, Biggie, is that it's a, it's a fine patch. Like I think it's pretty underwhelming. Uh, but it doesn't make the game worse or anything. I just think people are gonna get bored of the changes very quickly because they want like sweeping changes for midseason. And I think the reason the reaction of the community has been so bad is because they expected more. Uh, because of how underwhelming Smite 2 Alpha was. Yeah, they over expected, but I, it's kind of like whatever. But I think the problems with Smite 2 are a way bigger issue than 1 because it's a it's a very small dev team with limited resources that they're, they're doing a good job the whole year. I mean, that, they can't be the ones carrying Smite type. Has to be Smite 2. See Sue's tweet about uh, UK land falling through. I did, and I don't like that tweet because um, I don't know why they haven't mentioned that that plan fell through instead of having to like race to address it after people tweeted about it. Like, surely just just keep people like just keep people up to up to date when stuff isn't going to go through instead of having to like cover yourself uh, suddenly, you know. It's like it's like uh bro it's it's like it's like forced transparency. You know? It's like someone literally replied like another transparent response, but it's like is it really? I mean if it fell through, surely you just let everyone know so they don't have to like so they don't like come up with these cuz like people in my chat and me were like they would just never plan to do it anyway. Like they could just say like hey guys, we wanted to do a land, it didn't work out. Uh, sorry to like o over promise or whatever and you know we'll see you next year and we'll make sure it goes better everyone will be like damn fair enough like thanks for letting us know like obviously some people would be annoyed like classic it didn't work out again but personally I would have just been like okay I mean that's fair enough That sounds really familiar, Apollo, but I, off the top of my head, I, I don't remember it. Wait, they are billions. Yes, I did. That game that game was actually sick. Yeah, Penny, I agree. Yeah, it's like it's it's forced. Like they were forced to be transparent and like that to me is like not really Im important at all. To, like it doesn't make me Respect it at all, you know. It just makes it feel like it's more of the same stuff in Smite One, in Smite from Smite One and Smite Two, you know. What am I cooking with this build, man? Very good. It looks nice, at least. Really that guy to win. No item synergy at all, visually. Is under they could have just been transparent at the start and had some online uh, online 20 instead. Yeah, I mean, that's also another thing. Yeah, like, if the land didn't work out, then, I mean, I'm sure people would have been fine with a compromise if we'll do one online event and then the Vegas one. Which I guess is kind of happening, but that just qualifies to Vegas. Which is different. Fuck. 
I, know, I just think, uh, like, I just view transparency differently because, like, if it was true transparency, we wouldn't even have to, like, have these discussions, right? I gotta go in there. It's so bad, though. Fuck it. Fuck it, we bull. And we didn't even get the T2. It's my opinion on patch notes. Uh, I think it's just like a very average patch for a mid-season, but it doesn't really make the game worse or anything. I mean, I think it's fine. The bigger issue is the Smite 2 isn't carrying enough hype, uh, so Smite 1 has a lot more pressure on it to like actually keep players interested than it should. It's not like I like the patch, but I do this like it. it's kind of like I'm just fine with it. I think there's like a, there's some interesting changes, but obviously people are just used to way more in a mid season. But hard to expect that with um, like the situation the Smite One Dev team is in. They're doing their best. Yeah, yeah, like it, it it's just the sequence of the the reaction to the second alpha into the reaction to the mid season. It's just everyone's kicking off Duma mode. I mean some people are just truther, but some are Duma. Yeah, there's everyone agrees with that, but it's also like uh like if they could have done that and could have afforded it, they would have, but it's it's very easy to assume that they just had to pull the trigger on Smite too. That, that's not the... It's funny seeing people lose their minds to this patch, like they don't know they're working more on Smite Team to 1. That's not the point though, Lucian. Maybe some people aren't like, uh, ex like expressing what the point is, but like... The point, the point is just that, like, uh, it's it's a very worrying that the the last big patch of Smite One is this small, and Smite Two is not even close to being ready. It's like the thing that's meant to bridge the gap is not bridging the gap, you know. That's what a lot of people are worried about. We're just fucking stuck here, by the way. And we're trying to kill. I do a lot of fucking damage. Yeah, some goose. Like, I think the new patch will be fine for like a uh, like the short term. You know, I think I think people will have fun with it. But the, that fun won't last very long, I think. That's the, the issue. For the community. Especially if you're someone who's impatient. Impatient. Which a lot of people are. What's next in this build? Spare robe would actually go crazy. Nah, I want to guess for a robe. I haven't been, build haven't been building it enough. It's fun. Respect the one v one. Big. Oh, 
stock. I wanted to get the five blink on the X ball. Well, the reason they're asking about Arena, I think, is because it's already playable, like, internally, so... If, if it's as simple as just, like, turning the mode on, yeah. then I don't think it's a big issue. Plus, it's just new content for people to, uh... Like, kill time on, you know? But I agree with you, I, th I think that... It, like, I don't know, it probably should have just never really been in the discussion this early have another mode. Transform, surely, right? Or is he cook cooking us? We're getting cooked. Oh shit! Better players loves arena though. The casual place player base loving arena uh, is, in my opinion, one of the most overrated talking points in Smite. I mean. It's, it's like, for example, it's never been the biggest mode in the game's history. And it takes like four minutes to find an arena game every day. It's more the combination of all the other modes is as popular as Conquest. Bonus is cap. Dude, chat, if you were here for the arena queues, tell them it's not cap. Maybe in EU, that region? Yeah, that's probably true, actually. EU is deader than dead. Yeah, I mean, I like, I don't really care if they add arena early or not. To be honest, if it's something that's already ready internally, it's like, it's fine, you know. I just think they should release the map uh, and the mode and not really balance it or work on it because they got to make sure conquest is in a good spot because they themselves have said conquest is what they want to focus on mainly. But I mean, more than anything, they just need gods, more gods. Content, content. That's what people care about the most. Everyone's so quick, man. Wait, why am I doing so much damage? I'm so quick. God, this Mari is owned. I need to hold my damage until she's deformed. Oh, I'm actually dead now. 
She got that so Prox. So I don't think uh stuff was up. That's crazy. I don't think there is enough to do on Smite 2's map. No, there isn't enough to do. I agree. Wish I could hit DM Brandon's take on Smite 2. <laughs> Oh, what a snipe. But yeah, Lost Games, I played the first one. Very good. Do you guys think he'd be the Doomer or the Copa uh, in modern day? I got three on me, fellas, so do the math. Or not. Yeah, kill that guy. Nice. Gamington. <laughs> Hope Suntouch comes back and streams Smite 2. Well, he, I, he was actually in my chat a lot, like uh, post waltz, and like he said he was going to try out Smite 2, but. Who knows? I mean, maybe he never will if he doesn't hear any good news about it. But... People within the community. Do we want to win? Yeah. Yeah, I want to win. Nice. It's like a DSI. 